Hey Capricorn, I hope you guys are all doing well. This is Serendipity Tarot and um, we're going to see what's going on with you guys in love, romance, partnership. This is for the end of January 2023 going into February um, and we're going to see yeah, what's happening. If you guys enjoy these readings, do let me know. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want to book a tower reading with me, all the details are in the description box. I do them video recorded as well as through Etsy message. I also have a Valentine's Day special, um, seven day turnaround at a special price. So check in on the energy regarding love in general or regarding that special someone, your secret admirer perhaps. Um, and Capricorn, your bonus extend is on Vimeo for January and I will have February's up very soon. All right, let's jump right in messages for capricorn okay we got a card that flew out here smoke grenade sabotage explosion and smoke so um i'm getting like kind of like a situation that came to head okay something may have came out and it feels like there's a lot of smoke there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of unknowns what happens now um this could definitely be an exposure of something right with this explosion maybe something was revealed um, smoke makes you feel like there could have been like a tower moment. Maybe something happened and something collapsed within the connection or situation. Um, sabotage is here as well. Did someone just like, I'm getting sabotages relationship and you didn't see it coming with all that smoke. It just feels like everything was hidden. Okay. Now we have Apple. For some of you guys, this could talk about like the devil and tarot, right? Temptation, someone bit from the forbidden fruit. So maybe there was something your person did and they shouldn't have, right? Um, it feels like maybe this could be like a third party situation for some of you. Um, I don't know. It makes me feel like did something here your person do and it feels like now they're thinking about it. And now they see after the smoke settles, now they see the, the error in their ways. We also have Cathedral, which talks is talks about tradition and commitment, kind of like the Hierophant. So someone here may have had issues with commitment, or maybe there's something that came out regarding this commitment, okay? Maybe they end up not being entirely committed because we had that smoke grenade. You didn't see this coming. Maybe something blindsided you because of that sabotage. So let's jump right in. This may not pertain to everyone, of course. Some of you guys you're getting over some kind of past event with that smoke grenade and you may be working toward a commitment with someone right now in the past capricorn we have the nine of wands in the verse the three cups and the page of cups yeah someone definitely is apologetic or feels i'm getting guilty there could be an apology here i'm sorry for something they've done and it could have been related to other people a third party three cups could be family could be friends could be a co-worker passionate lover Nine of Wands in the verse is telling me that someone didn't try their hardest, right? They didn't put their all into it. They didn't really fight for you, fight for this connection, blood, sweat, and tears. Maybe you were the only one Capricorn fighting for this connection. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The current energy is the Knight of Cups in the verse. We have the Devil and the Queen of Wands. So you know my readings, right? If I am not doing a fire sign reading, the Queen of Wands typically is the other person, the other party. With the devil, it definitely speaks about temptation, that forbidden fruit, right? The apple. Did someone hold back a love offer with you, Knight of Cups in a verse, where they all of a sudden acting cold and distant because of their dealings with a Queen of Wands? That could definitely be it. I mean, the devil, you know, in a verse could could talk about someone here now realizing it and now wanting to do better, now wanting to release something that they've been holding on to. This could be you as well, Capricorn. That is your energy. Maybe someone turned their back on you only to now move forward with the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are releasing your toxic tie to someone. You may feel like you've been holding on to them or a situation for far too long. You may feel like it's blocking your ability to find love, the Knight of Cups in the verse. In the foundation, we have the hangman in reverse. We have the chariot, the sun in reverse, and the three wands in reverse. I think this three wands is that your person sees that you're moving on, you're moving forward in some kind of new direction, Capricorn. Um, yeah, it feels to me like with the chariot, they may see you as someone they want a victory with or achieve some kind of milestone with. They may feel like there was an opportunity to be successful at something here. And it feels like it's because of the hangman. Now they may be seeing a whole different uh, a situation in a whole different way from a whole different light. 
different perspective. And the cheerleader could be like, I, I want us to be successful. I feel like there was an opportunity for success. But they may not know on how to go about doing that. The sun in reverse could be like there's a lack of clarity. They're in the dark. They're not sure how to move forward. They're not sure how the future would look like and how it would play out. So this is someone that could be waiting, waiting to get some insight, some clarity, waiting for a situation to heal, right? Waiting for the dust to settle after some kind of big, big um, event. Now, in the outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles in a verse, the Ten of Pentacles in a verse. Um, it feels to me like someone is questioning, is this stable enough? Or could it ever be stable enough? Are you really willing to invest your time, your energy, your money, your resources? And would that be enough to rebuild this? That's the question. Because I definitely feel like someone is still passionate about you. King of Wands are coming in. They're very fired up very energetic they want something here but the question is is not it's not about them right it's not about um if they want you or not or if they're coming in it's more so is this going to be a stable opportunity for me is this something that can move towards some kind of long-standing opportunity otherwise do i even take a look at it right so let's jump right in let's see what else we can find out like share comment and subscribe all right, take a look. Let's the smoke grenade in the cathedral. What is that about? With that apple temptation. Crossing is the devil. I'm not surprised. The devil is coming out in reverse. So this is like freeing oneself, right? Doing better, getting therapy, getting the help, removing some kind of toxic uh thinking pattern, way of thinking, self limiting thought, belief. There's something going on where someone is saying, Yes, I I bit from the forbidden fruit. Yes, I uh, challenge this commitment. Perhaps something came out with that sabotage energy explosion. And now they're saying, you know, I want to release that. I want to do better. I want to improve. I want to get help. And so the devil in the verse could be like now finally like overcoming a really difficult, challenging situation. Someone may recognize that this is something that needs to be worked on. I need to do better. So this could be definitely Capricorn. This could be your energy. Some of you guys, it may, it may have taken you turning your back on this person in order for this person to realize it. In the past, I do feel like there was an apology or maybe apology never came through um, because it's in reverse. But there was a lot of emotions indicated by the five of cups, nine of cups, and the knight of cups in reverse. Someone here was definitely being selfish and it may feel like, uh, it may felt like this person didn't care, but they did. Because the page of cups and the knight of cups is definitely telling me they did care. But maybe they weren't showing it because the nine of wands in reverse is just like, they're not doing what they need to do, clearly not fighting for this. And so the Nine of Cups could definitely speak about selfishness, only thinking about themselves, their needs being inconsiderate of yours. And as a result, yeah, the Five of Cups, they've done something here where they may even regret. And it could be regarding a third party. Maybe they regret their dealings or um, participation with regard to a third party because it has affected this connection with you and them. So I feel like your person's getting over something that maybe they're not proud of, they're feeling guilty about. Why is the Knight of Cups and the Devil here? Ten of Wands, we have the Four of Swords in a verse and the Two of Wands in a verse. So I do feel like there's been a period of a break. Ten of Wands could be an ending of some situation. Tending, ten of Wands being endings, Wands, it could be very burdensome. Um, Yeah, it does feel like with the Four of Swords, this could be like a period of time where there's been no speaking, no communication. But there's been a lot of conflict and it feels like during this downtime, you're finally able to make peace with it. Now, with the two of wands in a verse, there could be a decision that's finally being made. Um, it could be coming after someone lets go of a situation, third party, some kind of self-limiting thought, belief, again, addiction, anything. Because it feels like this decision is regarding an offer of love. So maybe there's something that's being cut out so that they can finally make an advancement and pursue you with their cup. Two of wands, again, it could be like a two of wands. It could be a decision regarding a queen of wands. It could be a decision regarding you. This could be you making a decision. Two of wands makes you feel like something is getting cut out, okay? You can't have two options. You have to move forward with one. Now, the hangman, they're getting some kind of insight. The sun, they're getting some kind of insight about their happiness. King of cups. And this is someone that does want to express their deep love for you. They have deep love for you. And it feels like they want to move forward with the future. The sun is futuristic. It's harmony. It's happiness. It's health. It's 
it's bliss. It feels like your person is like, I want to be happy. I want to move forward. I want to overcome this situation with the chariot. I want to achieve some kind of level of milestone, happiness, harmony in my home life, my family life, and love. So the King of Cups is big love. It's it's also healing some kind of emotional wounds, um, maybe something from their past that has left them feeling traumatized, okay, in some way. And it's like now looking at love differently, looking at partnership differently. The sun, there's a big, big wake up call here. Maybe after being in a dark for a period of time. Yeah, the hermit. So the hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, this is definitely the energy of someone here. Maybe not doing a lot of like talking, but they've been doing the work. There's some kind of spiritual um, awakening energy here. You know, the hermit is like you, you're in. You're really thinking, you're reflecting, introspection, um, maybe taking a break from everything, but there's some kind of hidden insight, knowledge you're gaining after being in Hermit. Give me the Three of Wands in the verse. Four of Pentacles and a Wheel. I think at the end of the day, someone is recognizing this is something I want to hold on to. Maybe it takes them forever to realize this because the Three of Wands, some of you guys have already moved on or moved in a different direction. Four of Pentacles is like, I believe in this. I want to secure this. I want to hold on to this. It's even being a little bit greedy and selfish, like not wanting you to be with anyone else. And I think the wheel is really indicating of your person wanting blessings, wanting forward movement, wanting change, wanting some kind of good fortune to come in regarding you and them. But I think the biggest thing is your person has to do the work. Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. In order for this to be stable and secure, your person has to show up. The world in reverse. King of Wands again. And the Knight of Wands. So there's a lot of action orientation here with the Wands. But I think the biggest thing is like whoever you're dealing with, maybe again, this is a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. There is something you're having to uncover. The world could be karmic in nature. It could be a cycle they're having to go back to and replay and do over again. It feels with the Knight of Wands, it's requiring your person to correct, course correct, redo um, with that world in reverse, right? And the Knight of Wands come in the right way and put in the work. It's going to require your person to change the way they show up, put energy, effort into the connection because stability is needed. Okay, stability is needed. We don't need just someone who's in and out, very flaky, on and off. Knight of Wands, very passionate, but not bringing the security and stability. And that's what I'm seeing um, your person realizing. Capricorn. That was a mouthful, right? Um, enjoy these readings. Um, if you enjoy these readings, please do let me know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are aware of when I upload these readings. I do offer a Valentine's Day special. It is available in my Etsy shop, seven-day turnaround um, at a special discounted price. And again, my Sacred Signs and Symbols deck is available on Etsy for purchase for those tarot readers who are looking for um, addition to your, your little collection. So have a great remainder of the week. Take care. Bye.